What's good guys, it's Ryan's Rides. I'm at Maserati Alfa Romeo of Daytona Beach and I have a unicorn in front of me. Now you're probably wondering, why is this a unicorn? It's another Alfa Romeo Stelvio, right? 2019 Alfa Romeo Stelvio. This is actually our second 2019 Stelvio Lusso, all right? But that's not the only thing, all right? It's a TI Lusso, that's cool, right? I already showed you that. This one actually has the heated rear seats, which is new for 2019. And yes, you guys may say, okay, that's cool. You know, show us the, here, uh, the rear heated seats. I just want to say how much of a unicorn this is because this is Florida. Now, granted that this is a perfect time of year because it's the winter season and it's chilly outside. I can't even say that with a straight face because of how cold it is for everybody up north right now. Those shattering cold temperatures, especially in Chicago, um, in the States. But this is considered that season. And we actually have one Stovio here that has the rear heated seats. Not an option that we would normally do. You know, with the TI Lusso package, you already get the front heated seats and steering wheel, right? Okay, but you have to option an extra $350 to have this right inside check it out guys right there all right so now you have the updated usb look and you have the reheated seats now i have the heated seats on all right so i'm going to show you how those work in a moment but let's go check out the front seats so you can see what the car originally comes with now before i show you how the front seats and steering wheel work just check this interior out Man, we're not used to seeing Lusos on the Stelvios. I told you guys for the other Stelvio TI Lusso video that that was our first TI Lusso ever for the Stelvio. I'm not used to seeing this interior trim on the SUVs. It just looks incredible. And then you have the big roof that lets the natural light in, which there's not a lot of nat natural light right now. But just look how awesome the Stelvio TI Lusso looks. I mean, this interior is incredible. Obviously, it's the Crema, um, and it's not the interior that I would option myself just because of the dinginess and dirtiness of it, but I love it. It looks clean, it looks sharp. Somebody is going to eat this up. The heated steering wheel, the heated passenger seat, and the heated driver's seat come with the Lusso package, and it works as follows. Once you activate it, it starts at its highest setting, just as follows. The first three lights means it's gonna be at its warmest. And then once you press it again, you'll take it down to medium temperature. You press it one more time to take it down to its lowest temperature of heat. And then the last time to disable it. Now for the steering wheel, you only have one setting. Press it once and you get it your heating steering wheel. All right, so we'll do the same on the side here for the passenger. First time, three dots, high. Second time, medium. Third time, low. And the fourth time, off. Now your rear seats function the same way. So you have the same functions here. You press once to turn it up to as high as heat. Press twice to do the medium heat. Press once for the low heat. And press one more time to turn it off. But I really like how they did this. Very clean design with the aluminum uh, look around it. And then the USB lights. Everything looks really cool with the battery sign there too. It's definitely updated from the 2018 models. It just looks really sharp and it's practical. It works. Everything as far as the heated seats, I think cars should come standard with this kind of stuff. But you know, in Florida, we have to option it out and we're not probably gonna have many of these because it's Florida. Um, so this was one that I had to show you guys and get on camera before we got rid of it But let's take a quick spin around the car and then I'll just show you the options the price and everything else on the sticker So for the heated steering wheel, I'm really surprised on how much it goes all the way around You can really feel it the most right here uh, where you're 10 to 2 where you would naturally be driving So which it makes sense, you know, you want to feel it where you're gonna hold your hands the most for most people but you can also feel the heat coming from right up here very well as well. It goes all the way throughout. Even at the bottom, I can still feel the heat right through this area. Um, not as much as the top layer, but down here, you know, you can still feel heat from the heated steering wheel and it feels really good. 
as far as the seat goes, you feel it more down in your lower back region than anything. Um, you know, you don't feel it as much in your thigh area here, um, but down where the middle of the seat is, where your butt is, and your lower back, you're gonna really feel it there. And you know, that's normally how the heated seat works. It's not like it's a heated headrest or heated upper back. You know, it's mainly throughout this part here is where you'll feel the most heat. So it's not really that bad at all. It's gonna do the job. And with the heated steering wheel, you're really gonna get a nice sense of comfort and warmth. And that's really what this is about. So if you guys wanna see my full Stelvio Ti Luso video, I'm gonna link that to the end of this video so you'll see it and you'll be able to click on it. This is a sharp combo. It looks like a sportier car or sportier spec from the outside until you get in the inside and you see where that Luso luxury comes in. But I mean, this looks sharp with the 20 inch sport wheels, red calipers, white script. You do have the roof rails to go with this as well. This is the all wheel drive version, a good way you can tell is that q4 right there that lets you know we're in all wheel but you're looking at fifty four thousand dollars for this specific model like i said i want you guys to go check out that video so you can see more about the stelvio ti luso an uh, in-depth look so the all-wheel drive stelvio ti luso starts life at forty four thousand one hundred and ninety five dollars and then after your options you're looking at fifty four thousand ninety dollars all right so you got a lot of optional equipment there that Luso package is $2,500, tons of stuff. The biggest thing you'll notice is the extended leather on the upper dash and upper doors, walnut trim, crema on the interior, and then you'll notice stuff like the cannoli leather. After that, you're looking at your standard equipment here, Alfa Rosso, crema interior, luxury leather seats, and then your normal, and I say normal with quotations, options for the alpha male stelvio because it is not a normal vehicle that is one that uh you know it's a little different and then a couple more standard options here but then you'll see and i didn't highlight this the heated seats heated rear seat right there 350 dollars new for 2019 had to get that on camera for you guys and then check out that fuel economy all right guys so this one's not gonna last too much longer i know somebody's gonna see this fall in love with it and pick it up so i do want to leave you my number check that out if you guys want to get a hold of me before this thing goes i had to get it on camera like i said before that happens because there's chances are we probably won't get too many of these with the rear heated seats just because it's extra 350 dollars that you don't really need in florida but it's a want more than a need so let me know in the comments below what do you guys think about the rear heated seats? Do you think it should come standard as an option with the front, re, uh, front heated seats and the front steering wheel? Or do you think it's right for them to option it out for that extra $350? Comment down below. Let me know what you think. This is a clean spec, so definitely give this video a like so those people can see this spec and those heated seats and heated steering wheel and how they function. And then definitely subscribe for more Ron's Rise videos because you got to check out everything that I got coming out. Some good stuff, new stuff for 2019. Also click that notification bell. Check the social media links down below. And guys, have some fun. It's been a pleasure. You guys be safe, be easy. We'll talk to you in the next one. Drive safe out there. Peace.